Hi, my name is Kanara. Thank you for deciding to watch my laundry room makeover video. And I'm excited to share with you the process of how I did everything. What you see behind me is the final version of my vision, basically. So my goal for this was to keep everything under $100. And I was successful, it was around 98 and some change. So that I was very excited about. And I do list everything that I used, everything that I bought specifically for this project and where I bought it from on my blog post. So if you're interested in checking that out for that information or for additional tips and just my thought process while I was doing everything, please go ahead and read that. Um, I'd be happy to hear what you have to say about the post or about this video. This is my first video, so the editing might not be that amazing, probably won't be that great. <laughs> and um, if you have anything to share with me about that, I'd love to hear that as well. I'm very open to hearing any feedback or tips because I'd be interested in doing more of this and sharing other DIY projects or other things that I do and sharing with you. And, and yeah. Thank you for tuning in. So I hope you like the rest of the video. And if you're interested in seeing more content from me, I did link my Instagram below, Pineapple Curls. So go ahead and check that out. I do post on there often. I do post a lot of pictures and share what I'm up to, share the projects that I'm currently working on and everything. And yeah, here we go. Here's a quick before of the laundry room. It's very boring the shelf's too high and it's a wire shelf so now we're gonna start taking everything off get rid of the shelf and move on from there Here I'm using spackle to fill in all of the holes that were left by the screws that held up the shelf so the wallpaper will go on smoothly. to go with. It's black and white stripes. Um, I ordered it off of Wayfair for $25.99, I believe. And I forgot the name of the company, but um, I will definitely share that. And I wanted something classic and black and white is classic to me. So First, the original plan was to just have the stripes be vertical, like going down like this. But me being me, I decided I wanted to complicate things. And we're going from vertical to horizontal, top to bottom. So that's gonna be interesting. I think it'll be easier for me if I cut the strip that I need and work with the strip when I'm all the way at the top because holding this heavy roll and trying to move a ladder I don't think that'll be convenient for me at all I could probably even like I could glue up whatever I can and reach as far to the side as possible and take a push pin to hold it in place while I'm resetting the ladder and everything so I think we're gonna have to try that method. I really don't want... I'm a little weird. I like doing projects by myself. It's very therapeutic, even though there's a lot of things to stress about. And I gotta stop leaning against this washer or you're gonna hear that annoying metal sound. Mm. Alright, so... I'm gonna cut this out. I need a flat surface. Let's go do this. The Roman Pro... 540 Universal Wallpaper and Border Adhesive. Um, this was $6 and some change. 
Unfortunately at Lowe's where it's basically a dollar cheaper, uh, they didn't have this size. They had like the gallon size, which was $19. I didn't want to buy that because I have no need for it. I don't think I'm going to put wallpaper anywhere else, at least for now. But um, this is 32 ounces and it's supposed to cover um, 62.5 square feet. And this entire space, or entire space as in this one wall, is about 65 square feet. So, let's do this. Okay, so I have the brackets up for the big shelf and I'm putting one of the smaller shelves that's going to go up higher on here to hold all these things. I don't want to put the big one up yet because I, I don't know, I just don't want to put it up yet and it'll be easier for me to <laughs> test the other one and move this up when I need to instead of bringing it back over and um, I'm going to leave about like 10 inches of space here so I know that the detergent and the um, like the huge thing of bleach will fit well without any problems and then the shelves at the top will probably hold, hold much lighter things like towels and just decorative things like let me show you one of the things that will go there will probably be this ivy that I got at Ikea. It's fake, but it's beautiful. So it might go there. Or who knows, maybe I'll just set it here and let it dangle um, in between everything. Don't know yet. So it's going to be fun things like greens and neutrals that'll help break up this black and white wall and make it more appealing. Alright, let's keep going. And it is finished. So I really like how this turned out. The wallpaper goes from the floor all the way to the top. And these shelves, I love, love the final color. It's very natural and the stain isn't too dark or light. So 
it really fits with the black and white of the wall. And then up here, you'll see that the wood is kind of broken. Um, but that's the reason we got all of these pieces for six dollars and some change when it's originally twenty two dollars and i kept it very simple there's no need for a lot of things in here and the detergent is above the washing machine the dryer sheets are above the dryer for easy access and then just some decorative things the rest of the way i might add one more thing to the top shelf but i'm not sure yet one will go there. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And there you have it. Here is my laundry room makeover, under $100. And we're at the end. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my process of doing everything. I hope you liked the final product. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you think there's anything else that I could add to this space to liven it up, I'd be happy to hear that as well and maybe bring some of the things into this small space to liven it up. Um, if you have any questions about what I did or how I did some of these things, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be very happy to answer those questions and get back to you. And again, my Instagram is linked below if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and check it out in the description. Um, yeah, thank you so much. and. I hope to post more things like this, and I hope you're interested in seeing those. Thank you.